Hey everyone, it's Jeff with peptidecritic.com with Randy the Research Rat. And today we're gonna do a simple, quick video uh, about how to reconstitute your research peptides. Uh, you'll need a few things. You'll need uh, bacterostatic water. You'll need a uh, syringe for reconstitution. Uh, this is a uh, 3ML with a 23 gauge uh, needle. And then uh, alcohol prep pad or two. Usually only need one. So first things first, I actually have to reconstitute everything in this case. Uh, what makes the most sense? CMAX, that's for nasal. Morellin, I just need to do that. All right, five amino one MQ. So this is from one of the vendors on our site. I won't name names because I don't play favorites, but uh, it's a good one. Uh, and uh, okay, so these are, this is 18 milligram. That's what it tested as. And I have our reconstitution calculator open next to me. So if I have an eight, what you do first is you enter the dose that you want to administer to your research rat. The next step, you would choose the strength of the vial. And then step after that, you would choose the backwater volume. Now here, the rule of thumb is if it's 18 milligrams, just to keep it simple, I would say 1.8 uh, milliliters. That would be a 20 unit dose. Some people would do 0.8 milliliters. And the reason being uh, that it's only 10 units. Um, when you get into like doing 11 units here, you know, 13 units here, it gets confused. But it's not a big deal. So what we're gonna do is we are first going to sterilize both our backwater and our peptide tops. So backwater first. And once that's done, um, this entire area was sterilized prior to this. So we need to pull 1.8 milliliters. Now this is very simple. There's 100 units in one milliliter. So 1.8 would be around right there. And that's what we're gonna take out of this bottle, bacterostatic water. Inject the oxygen first. Now with back water, you wanna pull it slowly. If you don't pull it slowly, it will uh, get a lot of bubbles in it. It's kind of annoying, I'm being honest. You have one bubble in there, that always happens. But that's not the end of the world. Hold just 1.8, 9, 8, okay. And we're good. A little back water went out, but that's not the end of the world. And now this is the part that always gets people confused. We're gonna add it to the peptide. So what I like to do is I like to grip the end of the syringe and I like to slowly insert it into the vial. Now, see, how, see how it's just start squirting in? Slowly let it go. Now, 5-amino-1-MQ, uh, actually not a peptide, it's an amino acid. And uh, it's pretty easy to reconstitute. Um, same rules apply. If you let it shoot to the back like that, it's not gonna ruin anything. The one who says otherwise is other morons. Um, and that's it. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to wait for it to dissolve. We'll cover our needle. And again, next to me, I have our peptide calculator. So I added 1.8 milliliters to an 18 milligram bottle. Um, the ideal dosage would be two milligrams of this compound into Randy the research rat. And the dose that would be administered is 20 units. And so what I'll now do is I will go to our, uh, our label maker and I will make a new label for this. And I'll put all that information on this vial. So hopefully that answered some questions. Um, reconstituting for the first time, the second time, it's a little daunting, but you know, it's, it's actually really not that hard. And there's great calculators on the internet. We have a great one and it's, really quite easy the the one mistake people always make is they'll add back water and then they'll ask okay how many units do i take it's not how it works that's a measure of volume so uh, write down how much back water you've added write down 
everything that you calculated and put it on the bottle. That's really the trick here. Um, so this will probably end up dissolving for another 20 minutes or so, and uh, we'll be good to go. Anyways, thanks again uh, from Jeff and Randy, the research rat at peptidecritic.com.